We're at the, the fully charged show with the Bosch guys. So can you tell me the, kind of how you ended up here and the tie in with what you do and, and what's going on here today? Absolutely. So we, everything we make is plant-based and we're all about the planet. You know, we started eating plant-based seven years ago for the planet. Sustainability is at the very core of everything that we do. And that means, of course, we drive electric vehicles and have done for a few years now. So, um, yeah, we've partnered up with the very cool people at Fully Charged Live. We're going to be um, essentially cooking plant-based food at three of their events this year all over the world mm -hmm. and uh, talking about plant-based food, promoting sustainable eating and also talking about our love for electric vehicles as well. Yeah. Our love for electric vehicles started a few years ago when we released a book called How to Live Vegan and we did the book tour around the UK in the back of a, a, um, a Renault Zoe which is a completely electric car and yeah. there was Henry and I buzzing around the UK going to all the little events and it was really really good they're great electric cars running out of battery halfway yeah. around <laughs> and uh, you know seeing just how much juice we could get exactly. out of that battery yes yeah, so the batteries are better nowadays yeah for really sure are. yeah yeah fantastic so what was your your catalyst for you guys to go to go vegan to go vegan yeah <clears throat> well um initially it was it started out as a new year's resolution to see if we could do vegetarianism for a month okay and that vegetarianism for a month rolled on to discovering the film cowspiracy watching that film cowspiracy and deciding that going plant-based completely was the best thing to do for the planet for certain but also for our health as well and not to mention the animals so um yeah like the, the, the we kind of tripped and fell into veganism but it's definitely been the best thing that's ever happened fantastic so what did Bosch look like in the early days when you, when you started because I know you you guys were big meat eaters originally so oh, I read yeah. up yeah yeah I'm vegan as well so yeah, yeah I, I know who you guys are and I eat some of your stuff yeah. in supermarkets so yeah. in the beginning um, we yeah as you say we were meat eaters all our families eat meat although everybody is now you know thinking more carefully about what they eat which is great yeah. but yeah at the beginning there was no vegan food, plant-based food anywhere, nothing in supermarkets really, nothing in restaurants, no takeaways, nobody even knew that it was a slightly more sustainable way to eat. Mm. Um, so there was just nothing. And right at the beginning, you know, it was pretty much just me and Ian realizing this was a great way to eat food. You could get all of the flavor that you wanted out of plant-based food. You didn't have to basically just eat rabbit food, lettuce and yep. chips, which is what everybody thought it was. Um, so we realized that, we realized this was something we wanted to devote our lives to. And um, pretty much, imagine the early days, me and Ian and a camera, uh, we just decided to start making these videos. So we were spending all of our hours filming this kind of, these kind of close-up shots of us making this delicious food, um, really closing in on the shots, getting those beautiful gravy pours, getting those beautiful chocolate pours. But what you don't see is behind the camera, me and Ian sweating <laughs> for like 16 hours a day yeah. uh, over every single frame exactly. of these videos. But luckily the videos got, went incredibly viral, got millions and millions of views. The social media numbers quickly racked up and uh, before long we had a cookbook. Fantastic. So you run the, the biggest plant-based channel in the world. Um, were you really expecting this to happen? I think we really hoped it would happen. Yeah. Um, and we did everything in our power to make it happen. Um, we've got a really good work ethic. And right from the get-go, we decided that we would release a video every single day, which meant writing recipes every wow. day, uh, filming videos every day, just to get out as much content as is humanly possible. Because what we knew, <clears throat> or we hope that we know, um, is that the more people see plant-based food the more likely it is that they will eat it and that's what we're all about putting more plants on more plates so yeah work ethic is definitely um, set us in good stead excellent so you have a huge selling book food in supermarkets collabs with other brands so what, what's the next step for you guys Great question. Uh, we'd love to get food into restaurants. Yes. So we're already in supermarkets, um, but we are starting to talk to some very cool restaurant chains um, to see if we can get Bosch on their menus. We ultimately just want to make more plants available for everyone, everywhere. So restaurants is the obvious next move. Um, also just continuing to do what we're doing. So we've now built this um, more professional studio mm -hmm. to film videos. So you're going to see more of us on stage together or on camera together yeah. in a more professional setup. I, said, I guess seeing a little bit more of our faces on camera 
and less of the hands. Um, but in addition to that, spending more time overseas as well. So we're trying to get Bosch out into the United States. Yep. Um, and obviously moving around with Fully Charged Live is one of the things that's going to take us overseas. We'll be in Vancouver with them. Um, but just trying to spread the word of plants all over the globe. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So like the show, we're seeing a, like a huge move to like electric and clean living. Um, but we're also seeing a massive shift to plant-based eating. Mm. Um, I've noticed this myself being vegan recently. There's a huge shift. What do you think's caused the kind of recent move for people to be, well, more environmentally friendly, to be more plant-based? Mm. Um, <clears throat> I think the, the shortest answer is the internet. Yeah, because there is a wealth of information that people have got access to now that they didn't have access to before. Uh, now people can really see where their food is coming from and the environmental impact that food has. Uh, where a few years ago, like our parents, for instance, they might have made the same decisions that we've all made, but the information just wasn't there. Um, so I think that definitely our generation seems to have developed this really wide breadth of care and really wants to do their part for the planet now for the benefit of their unborn children in the future. Fantastic. So you have a huge variety of food in your range. If you could just pick one cuisine to live on, what would it be? Oh, that's such a good question. <laughs> one cuisine. I would say um, we, uh, Asian food. Yeah. It's just yeah. packed with colorful vegetables, packed with flavor, it's healthy for you. Uh, you can eat it every day. There's, so much variety mm. and it's also really quick and easy to cook a good stir fry a good curry i'd probably be in the realm of you know chinese japanese in that kind of territory yeah. and uh, yeah i would i would never go hungry yeah i think i'd probably say the same thing to be honest because you know the base is rice or the base is noodle and both those two things if you've got either one of those you know you're going to have a great meal but if i was to pick something different i would say italian oh nice because italians you know you've got your pastas and you've got your risottos and all those wonderful fresh veggies and basil and tomatoes so uh, yeah if it's not asian cuisine it's italian yep. Yeah, for me, definitely it'd be Thai food. Oh, oh nice. Thai food, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I cook a lot of Thai food. Oh, it's tasty, right? What's yeah. your favourite dish? Um, probably a Massaman or a Penang. Oh, yes. Yeah. Talk Good to answer. Yeah. Good man, answer. Yeah. yeah. Have you got our first cookbook? It's you, good mass man in there. I'll, I'll get it. We'll, we'll I give will you get one. it. We'll have one for okay, you. Okay, that'll, that'll be we'll really awesome. On. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so for those transitioning from a meat diet to a plant-based diet, what advice would you give people to kind of like cooking at home, the transition from replacing meats... How so, would they start? So I guess the first place to start is find a few recipes. You know, there's recipes online everywhere. There's alternatives everywhere. So if you're used to cooking your classic spaghetti bolognese or your famous carbonara or your, you know, family generations lasagna, any of those dishes that are your favorites, just try that dish but plant-based. You'll find a recipe online. You don't have to freestyle it or guess. Really nail that recipe and then you know you've got one plant-based dish to go for. And also stock up your cupboards. So you're gonna have a few things that are gonna add a bit of umami to your dishes. Mm -hmm. Umami is that savory flavor that you get a lot of naturally in meat, but you don't necessarily get it in vegetables. So things like soy sauce um, or Henderson's relish, mm -hmm. of course, um, Marmite, great yeah. source of umami, even things like tomato ketchup, all of those, actually Nooch as well, which is a product that you can buy from Bosch. Mm -hmm. um, all those things are gonna add that kind of savory flavor and you can kind of add them into your dishes just to get that meaty flavor. So get those dishes right, get those things in your cupboard. Perfect, that was the question for you to pimp your book, but yeah. <laughs> I guess you don't need the sales. <laughs> uh, no, we can always do the sales. Listen, if anyone... Buy, it, buy our book. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you do want a Bosch book, there are seven. And the latest one is coming out in August, the middle of August. It's called Meat, but obviously it's completely plant-based. And what we've decided to do with that book is to show people the best way to cook with uh, meat alternatives. Because there are a lot out there and people don't cook them with them properly. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the reaction that book gets. Cool. But you can also find us at Bosch.tv. That's our website. Yeah. Also on all the socials of Bosch.tv. And for those people who don't want to buy a book or don't use books, you can just find our recipes on those channels, videos, recipes, all out there for the world to enjoy. Fantastic. So one last question. Um, obviously, you're both vegan chefs, well-known and excellent cooks. So if you could choose one vegan chef to cook for, to impress with your signature dish, who would it be? One vegan chef? Yeah, one vegan chef. <clears throat> uh, I'd say Derek Sarno. 
Big old Derek Sarno. He's a good mate of ours. Like we've yeah. cooked with him before, and um, we, uh, he knows an awful lot about mushrooms. So I'm probably cooking something that didn't have mushrooms um, to remind him that there isn't just mushrooms out there. There's other things too. <laughs> well, because he's cooked for us, but we've not cooked for him. Yeah, exactly. That's true. Yeah. So we do. We should. I would go for Tal Ronan from Crossroads. That mm -hmm. guy is a legend, uh, probably buddies with Derek Sarno, yeah. great chef, uh, love to get in the kitchen with him, that would be loads of fun. Fantastic, thank you so much for your time guys, I really, really appreciate it. Hey, you're Good luck with everything you do, good luck with the show as well. Thank, thank you. you very much. Yeah, the atmosphere is electric. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you so much. So, thank yeah. you. Cool, cool.